It is a new moon, my queen. And I can sense that the new face of the moon will favor you this time. this cabinet we congratulate you for adding another year mm -hmm. to the throne okay now talk about it. Yes, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> your highness <laughs> thank you very much my cabinet for your consistent support your highness uh, your highness mm. We also want to seize this uh, opportunity to uh, talk to you yes. on some matters yes, that yes. border our hearts. Yes. And also that uh, has to do with uh, the, the throne <laughs> of Azabala. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
All right, uh, Chief Idemudia. I'm all ears. Go on and speak. May your reign belong, Your Highness. Yes, sir. Uh, since your reign on the throne of Azaba, we have so we are so glad to have you around, so <laughs> and we are very happy that the gods have been so fair to us. You know. <laughs> But, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, your uh, highness, uh, uh, our joy yes. is not full. Good. Hmm? Good. We need mm -hmm. an heir Good. to the throne. Yes. <laughs> now that uh, you are still full yes. of days, yes. what about so you? So young and. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man, I talk my way. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, my cabinet members. I appreciate. Thank you, Highness. But as we all know, it is a place of a man to fulfill his conjugal duty and also a place of the gods to bless a man with children. No game at all, man. We understand you perfectly. Uh, but what we are saying mm. that uh, we wish something can be done. And it can be done. Yes. <laughs> He's still very young. <laughs> May your name be long, Your Highness. <laughs> He said, <laughs> uh, he Gods of our land. How long do I need to continue like this? Must I continue like this? All my mates have yams upon yams in their bands and large farmlands, yet I have nothing to show. I keep moving from one piece of land to another, helping others to farm, to weed their farms. And I have none of my own. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 I and my wife are still very young. Why this pressure? Your Highness, a man cannot predict the day he answers the call to join his ancestors. And I was expecting you to help me convince the chiefs to have a rethink on their demand. My king, I will not lie to you. I wish for this more than they do. And that is why I have volunteered to help you find a secret lover. To save you from this pressure. No. No. No! I, King Asamuta, will never indulge in that. My king, you can. You can. You need them here. And you get it whatever it costs. Chief Idahosa. Okay, man. The only help I need from you now 
is to help me get a healer that will help my wife conceive. I'm sorry, my king. I volunteer to do that which I know and trust will be good for all. Think about it. And remember, it is full moon. And good is happening to those who reach out for it. Look at me. Go back to your duty post. Yes, my queen. Greetings, your highness. You sent for me, my lady. Go and tell the chief guard to let me know when the Enugi retires to his chambers. My lady, I saw my king walking towards his chamber. All right then. I must see him immediately. Get me my scented powder. Eho, my lady. Efosa. This one, Queen. My daughter, think about it very well. You will become a noble woman, respected and adored by all and automatically the envy of your aid mates. My lord, what is the problem? You will be me like the moor tonight. Thank you, my husband. But I still want to know what troubles my husband that he's not even giving me attention. How do I bother the queen with the matters of this kingdom on a beautiful night like this? So tell me. Tell me the midwife's examinations today. Nothing new. So what she say? Still the usual calculations of my fertile days to know when I can conceive. Um, it's all right. My king, how long do you want to wait? If you are doubting she alone has the problem, then try another woman and prove yourself a man. Then we will know what to do. My lord. My lord. Yeah, well, it's okay. Do not worry. We'll find a way to settle this. I knew this would put your mind in a bad state. That's why I did not come to tell you immediately she left. It's okay. Hmm? My queen, remain here. I will join you soon. Let me go to the throne room and have some quiet time. My lord. I know your heart is heavy right now. At the negative remarks concerning uh, my... Uh, I'll join you shortly.
ties. My king, how long do you want to wait? If you are doubting she alone has the problem, then try another woman and prove yourself a man. Then we will know what to do. My lord. My lord. Yeah, well, it's okay. Do not worry. We'll find a way to settle this. I knew this would put your mind in a bad state. That's why I did not come to tell you immediately she left. It's okay. Hmm? My queen, remain here. I will join you soon. Let me go to the throne room and have some quiet time. My lord. I know your heart is heavy right now. At the negative remarks concerning uh, me. Uh, I'll join you shortly. Idahosa. I have never thought about a matter as I have done on this one. But the fact still remains true. How long can I wait on this? Your Highness. I would take another wife. Yes. On the condition that the same woman must have proven me to be a man. Now you come. But I am still very confused. I do not know where to start from. If I should take a maiden from this land or a maiden outside this land. Which is best for me? Your Highness. It is best to take a maiden from Azagba land. You know we are reenacting polygamy. Yeah, that's true. So it's best we do this with diplomacy. Yes, that is true. But you seem to be very ready for this. Do you have anyone in mind? Yes, yes I am, my king. I have <laughs> someone. For yeah. you. So, who is she? Your Highness, this meeting is someone that you will love to have. And it's somebody very close to you. Interesting. Majesty. Itohan, what are we having this morning? I'm here to make meals, Your Highness. Why? I wanted to have the dose of your morning medication ready, as directed by the midwife before making meals. Alright then, please be fast about it. I just don't want the Enugi to ask for his food before it's ready. Yes, Your Majesty. Favor child of Azagwa land. Padomo, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say. Oh, yes, the Domo. Hey. Hey, hey. Eh? See, I came to the palace to look for you. But they say you went to the farm. 
So I decided to come and see you since uh, it will be best of our discussion. Yes, I, I was even supposed to come and see you, Epa. Oh, so, so you have uh, considered what I told you? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, Epa, I cannot do it. If, if we go. Epa, you said thing. This is not good. I have already told the king that uh, he can have you as discussed. But I told you to give me a little time. I also told you that your answer should be positive. Huh. You are a child of the soil. How can you refuse your king a, a favor? Epa, let me ask you. What if I decide to start laying with the king and still can't give him an heir? What will become of my dignity? If we go, when we get to that bridge, we, we cross it. But for now, be positive huh. so that everything will work out well. Epa, as you can see, it's about to rain. I need to run back to the palace. I I'll see you again. Hey, well, Italy, just one day. I give you one more day. Huh? Yeah, Zach Besa. Uh -huh. <laughs> to have you heard <laughs> i'm so happy have you heard heard what so as old as you are you cannot put your ears on the ground to hear everything that is happening in this palace and that's because i like minding my business i see so mm. what's the news i thought you said you like minding your business. Now you want to listen to my gist. What is the news? It's because it's good though. Mm. What is the news? Tell me. The king is about to take a second wife. <laughs> good for both of us. Oh. Was that the sense of sympathy I felt for her? Why do you like behaving weird? Eh? Why do you like behaving weird? I'm here telling you something important that will benefit you and I. And you're here entering trance like normal. As usual. Is it not? Why are the girls so unfair to her? Why? This girl. This girl. Who told you that gods are to be blamed or hold responsible for every man's misfortune? And that's because they control the affairs of man. Eh? What can one say? Please, oh. spare me all this, your spiritual wahala. Did you hear me? Spare me! Every day spiritual this, this one, that, this one, that. Adam, they are not spiritual. They are what? Feel pity for her. Pity? I don't. Now, what is the argument about? Hmm. Thank God yeah? you're here. Hey? This girl, she doesn't have any sense. My sister, have you heard the rumor that is going on? You are always the first to hear all the rumors in this palace. Oh. What have you heard this time? Hmm. Anyway. The king is about to take a second wife. <laughs> that would be very good for us. My friend, first of all, it is very wrong for you to discuss the royal household in that manner. Tell her. You will be punished when caught. I guess you know. Yes, my lady. Please, do you know how I can go close to the king and make him look at me and take me as the second wife? <laughs> A cripple. The one to dance with two-legged dancers. <laughs> hey. My dear friend, look away so you don't get heartbroken. The king will not look your way. Sogi, <laughs> how do you sleep at night? I mean... What kind of a human being are you? You serve the queen, and yet you have eyes for her husband. What are you doing? My dear, forget about her. Because the king Asemota, I know, will not condescend so low in taking a maid as a wife. I disagree. 
because men are unpredictable. My grandmother told us then that when a man wants a woman, he can rub himself in the mud just to prove to her he loves her. So, for the king, we are not sure what he can do. Okay? So, my sister, mm. I have a chance of winning the <laughs> king's heart. No, mm. you don't stand a chance. You and don't. you can never stand a chance to win the heart of the king. Let's go inside and walk. Are you saying I mean, that I don't have a place? Go inside and you walk. The king will not look your way. Eh, you can't have a I place. Don't you uh, yourself. Uh oh. Look at you. Let me help and you. And yourself, must you listen to her? Must you listen to her? You know she's the gossip carrier in this. Walk. People should go and get yourself. Oh, I've heard. Then let her be, since she refused. Your Highness, it is not like uh, she bluntly refused. You know, women, the pretense, yeah. really hard to get, mm -hmm. irrespective of their size or age. Don't worry, she will come true. All right, so what do you want me to do? Uh, do not worry, Your Highness. The ball is still in my court. And I will let you know when it is time to call me. Okay. I just thought it would be good to let you know how we are progressing. Be da ho, sir. Do I talk Greetings, my queen. Greetings, Amese. Please sit. I came to change your hair. The old one must have lost its effect by now. Thank you, Amese. You are doing well. It is a pleasure serving you, my queen. So, are the prescriptions still the same? Yes, though I want to add something. What is this? This time around, you will take it first thing in the morning before meals. So, no more night doses? Oh, there will be night doses. You will take it strategically just before you meet with your husband. Midwife, I understand you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, my queen. I have to go now. All right. Thank you. If we go. My queen. Um, please. Give this to Itoa. Tell her to come by my chambers for directions on how to cook the herbs. Okay, my queen. I feel so bad for the queen. I can't betray my queen. I will see the king myself and see if I can convince him to still wait on the timing of the gods. My king, for me to have come back to the palace, you should know that I have something very important to discuss with you. And I hope all is well. All will be well if you agree to do what I'm about to say. And how do you expect me to accept what you're about to say? When I have not seen, nor hear. My king, I think you should lure her to bed. That is the best way. My coming in will water down the weight it is supposed to carry. How? My king, you are a man. You should know better. I do not want to take advantage of somebody's daughter. If she's not interested, let her be. Look for someone else. My king, who else do you want us to get? That maiden is from a poor background. And you can promise her everything within and without your reach. And she will dance home. <laughs> 
with your proposal. So what and what should I promise her? My king, I have given you yam. Look for fire to cook the yam and make everybody happy. I do not want to take advantage of somebody's daughter. If she's not interested, let her be. Look for someone else. My king, who else do you want us to get? That maiden is from a poor background. And you can promise her everything within and without your reach. And she will dance home with your proposal. So what and what should I promise her? My king, I have given you yam. Look for fire to cook the yam and make everybody happy. My lord, do not forget I'm just a maid in this palace. Fako, allow me to send words to your father and make you my second queen. My lord. Ifako, I love you so much. Sarata. Allow her to go. Uh, if I could go back to your duties. Sit down. Easy, babe. I like it when you call me by my name. It reminds me of who I am. And where I come from. But what about you? Do you remember how you got here? And what this can do to you? Are you sure it was Ifeko you saw entering the king's chambers? Sogi, yes. It's Ifweko. I saw Olotu leading her into the king's chambers. It means she's sleeping with the king. Well, I don't know of that. Maybe she went there to do something else. Something like what? Is she now the king's right hand man? Wait, Sogi. I hope you're not thinking something. That I told you I saw Ifweko entering the king's chambers does not mean she's sleeping with the king. 
What are you saying? Was it no you two? I told about my interest of becoming the next queen of this community. But what did you say? You said it was an abomination that the king would never look in my direction. What is happening now? Speak about the devil. Here she arrives. If we go, what is the problem again? Not here, please. What do I do to change your mind from this barbaric black man? I do not think I'm the first person to do this. You are still very young, full of days. You will bear children at the appointed time by the gods. The gods knows nothing. They do not care about my heart desires. So why should I wait for their time? Because no man can fight the gods. It is barrenness and the spirit it carries that I'm at war with. And thanks to the gods for giving me a tool for the battle. If we go, it is okay. Stop crying. Do not tell her to stop crying. Do not! Eh? I don't know if I should be pitying you or I should give you dirty slap. This girl, you're very, very stupid. So gay. Do not so give me. Do not! Don't try it! What do I do? What do I do? How will you know? Why did you not say no there and then? So gay! Under such condition? What are you saying? So gay. Stop it! Our friend needs us now. Leave this scolding and cautioning to her parent. I dare not take this to them. I dare not take this to my parents. You will. You must. You must take it to your parents. If I when you were busy, opening, opening, you did not remember you will not take it to them. If I call, is there something you're not telling us? The king. Ask me to keep it secret. Hell! And you agreed. You agreed to keep it. Wait, 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 wait. Is it cool? Is it that you, you don't remember your background? Where you're coming from? Your parents? Everything? So gay. Izegbe, why have you refused the midwife to attend to you? I am tired of trying. I need to give myself peace. I mean, I need a sane mind to be able to conceive. And I will not be trying again until I have that sense of peace. God! Get me the midwife at once. Greetings, Your Highness. Give all helps to the Queen's maid and give her the prescriptions. Yes, Your Highness. My Queen. Am I? Of course. You are. No. I am just a royal furniture. Isigwe, why have you decided to victimize yourself? Do not touch me with those dirty hands of yours! I am still king of this kingdom! The only reason 
I am still in this marriage is because my wife has just been granted. Slight provocation. My queen, I'm suffering. I want to leave my marriage. Is that why you're here? Yes, my queen. My mates are mocking me. They laugh at me whenever I go to the market, even on the road. They say I look older than my mother, all because of my husband's constant battering. People will always talk. If you care so much about what people say, you would end up spending the whole of your life living people's opinion. My queen, what do I do now? I've lost my dignity as a woman. I'll give it back to you. You can go now. Come back in the evening. Thank you, my queen. I desire better for us. But don't worry. Things will change at the right time. What my... Yes. I meant it when I said you mean a whole lot to me. So many things will change once you have given birth to this baby. My lord. Your promises are endless, yet you've not done anything to make me feel loved. I will start fulfilling my promises by making you the richest woman in Azaba. And you know what that means. Yes, yes my king. And, and I also want my father to, to have a place at the cabinet. Done. Done with royal incentives. Thank you, my lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my king. One more thing. I will be spending the night in my chamber. <laughs> with all gladness, my king. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy, my queen. Mercy. Mercy, my queen. Mercy, my queen. Since you know how to throw blows, it's time to try your skills with a fellow man. Please, my queen. I beg to the father. Shut up! Please, my queen. Fight! Stand up and fight! My queen, my queen, please have mercy on me. I do not desire to be a widow at my age. My queen. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How could you subject a man to such mockery? Well, I wanted to see how strong he is. 
Besides, it is wrong for a man to lay hand on his wife. If he's tired of her, he should send her back to her parents. Your cause is just. But it is wrong to beat up a man like that publicly. Especially when it is done without my permission. What is annoying you here? That I did not seek your permission? Or that he's a man? Which? But! Woman! Sorry, my husband. But you were busy with your royal harlot. And as the good wife that I am, I did not want to intrude. Besides, are you in any way better than him that I should report him to you? Exactly. You have losing it! Be careful! So you do not commit an abomination. <laughs> I understand you were fighting for a fellow woman. But you have to be careful on how you carry out your queenly duties so that the cabinet would not revolt against you. My queen, I was told you were going to my husband's chambers. Is it not enough that I share my husband with you? Do you also want to take my place? The gods forbid I conceive such evil against my queen. Then if I am wrong, what were you going to do at my husband's chambers at this time of the night? I invited her to spend the night. I forbid you for rubbishing me in such manner! I checked. Our dear friend told us that she and the king I love and that they are only being discreet so as to successfully convince the queen in changing her mind. I can never believe that. I will not. The king is using her. There is no way the king will leave his precious wife for a common maid. That will never be possible. Okay. How do we help her? I think we should go to her parents and talk to them. Yes. I'm very sure if the cabinet hear about this, she will be in trouble. 
Sogi, the only person I think needs help right now is the queen. Can you not see? How do you mean? The queen is grieving. She's gradually losing her place in the king's life. And I know what it feels like when a woman's marriage is being threatened. Talk more of the queen. I do not agree with you. Please, we're talking about our friend here. Leave the queen out of it. Suki, why are you taking this thing personal? The person we are talking about is enjoying herself. Right? Yes. I do not know. I do not know what to say. You know I always put people in my shoes. I always try to wear their shoes and know how it feels. Anyway, I pray to the gods. It turns out for her good. Is there... Elders of Azagba. Considering the need for a spokesman in Omadinawa quarters, I have decided to make Idaho, the farmer, a representative of that quarters in this cabinet. Well, uh, it's a very good one, Your Highness. Look here, talk to me. Yes, sir. In fact, uh, I know how many times I have answered some questions concerning the, 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 the people of that quarters because they do not have a representative here. So it's a welcome development, Your Highness. We shall ordain him in our next meeting. Ah! Enoki, I talk by you! So I will be sitting with that fool on this same cabinet. Chief Idahosa, you are not saying anything. You know, you are talking about it. Ifueko, you're trending on a very dangerous path. You know. If this is a love relationship, let the king prove it. Let him prove it by making you his second wife. The king is trying to take things easy so as not to offend the queen. How many times will I have to tell you that? I don't get it. Who is the queen compared to the king that the king will be scared of the queen? Explain it to me. The king is not the type that gets intoxicated by power. He's trying to work with his first wife and I'm willing to wait. Okay. Wait. Let's wait and see. Wait. If I go. And what about the Queen's blackmail? <laughs> that will be history by the time the king is done with his arrangement. And what oh. um, arrangement are you talking about? Itching ears. You always want to know people's secret. Anyway, I have to go to the palace. The king will soon send for his mirror. Me too. I need to go and clean the throne room because cabinet will be meeting soon. Okay? Yeah, gossip. So, I will stay here and enjoy the serene of this palace. <laughs> Ever. My lord, I was told that you're looking for me. If we're cool. Yes, my lord. Just so you know, I will never fail you. I have a surprise for you. What surprise, my lord? If I tell you, that means it's not my surprise. My lord, mm -hmm. I wish I can get more of this love and affection. God. Hand it over to me. Hand it. Uh, 
My king, this is beautiful. Yes, they are. They are royal beads, specially made for the coronation of your father. By this time tomorrow, he will be a titled man in Azaba. My lord, thank you so much. Thank you, I'm so grateful. And please listen. Do not let him know this has nothing to do with us. I promise, my lord. And I will send this to him through a confidant. Thank you. You're so smart. That is why I love you. And I'm so happy to have you in my life, my king. Thank you so much. Come on, what is so difficult for you to call me your husband? Um, my lord, we are looking at the big picture. Don't forget. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> I better take my leave. Okay. Thank you. Chief Idahosa, what is the confidential talk you wanted to have with me urgently? My queen, if I did not know your parents as lovebirds in their days, I would have said you, you lack training in marital affairs. Chief Idahosa, this sounds like an insult. What are you trying to say to me? The king wants to make Idaho a chief because he wants to marry the daughter who serves as a maid in the palace. Anya! Agua! I do not want that man in the cabinet. Stop the king by meeting the rest of the cabinet members and you will be the only queen recognized in the this as a balland. Over my dead body, will I say to get another queen no, no. in this palace? No, no. I will remain the only queen of a Zagbaland. Mm. Awa! Awa! What is it? Come now. Stop it. Uh -uh. Ifeko, please follow me. I need to tell you something very, very important. Stop now. I'm serious. So gay. Take a look at the sun. The sun is too hot for gossips. Please just leave me alone. I am not here for gossips. It's very, very important. Just follow me. So gay. Please, you will have to wait till the end of the day. When we are done, we can talk. This king says I don't have sense or words. I think you should follow me. That is very, very important. Are you it? Oh. Okay, please, just follow me. See, see, see. I'm giving you just two minutes. Two minutes oh, to finish whatever you want to say. Look, uh -uh. It's so, it's... Hey, my queen. my queen. Come with me. Okay, my queen. I said it. Uh, okay, one top boy. It's long may you reign, your highness. I do not think that Idaho is qualified to be a member of this cabinet. What? What? And why are you just saying it now? Well, my lord, I from my findings, I discovered that. Uh, Idaho is of a lowly birth. Where the tigers have met him, then the goat will go down and begin to jump. Wow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sometimes I wonder if you truly are royalty. Beg your pardon? What king will wake up one morning and choose to make changes to the custom and traditions of his people without making proper findings? And what findings was I supposed to make? My question is coming too late, my lord. I did not invite you here. What do you want? I went outside to take a walk only to return to the news of how your cabinet almost revolted against you because of a stupid move to make you fuck with your second wife! That wasn't the intention! Oh, really? How come I did not know about it before the announcement was made? Oh, is this your doing? No. A senator. King of the great Azagba land. No king successfully rules his people without his queen standing firmly beside him. You conspired against me? Isabel, how could you? And how could you humiliate me like that? What wrong did I ever do to you to deserve that? What wrong? Do you know I can cut off your head and that of your idiotic allies? My husband, you underestimate me. And you still do. Do not start a war that will consume you. Now I know I am married to a witch. Oh, sorry, my lord. You're finding out too late. And if it will be of any consolation to you, I have your harlot, your bed woman, ready to give us a child. Please, my lord, sleep with her in the next four days. She will conceive. Isabel! Isabel! Ebena pere, ebena pere. You play the music. I am only dancing. Without his queen standing firmly beside him. You conspired against me? Isabel, how could you? And how could you humiliate me like that? What wrong did I ever do to you to deserve that? What wrong? 
Do you know? I can cut off your head and that of your idiotic allies! My husband, you underestimate me. And you still do. Do not start a war that will consume you. Hey! There is trouble. There is trouble! <sighs> Sogi, you are getting me tensed. What is it? You see our friend Ifeko. Her secrecy is going to land her into big trouble in this palace. What is it this time? Is it that you don't know what is going on? No what? Did you hear the revolt against the king's wish to make Ifeko's father a chief in this community? Sogi, eh? can you stop asking me questions as if I'm a new person in this place and go straight to the point? Fine. He was a daosa. He was the person that went to tell the queen about the affair of the king and Ifeko. And now, the queen has teamed up with the chiefs against the king's wish to make Ifeko's father a chief. <sighs> Do you know the worst? That girl knows and she never bothered to tell us anything. But what if she's not away? Hmm. You thought about that. That's not true. Ah. Let me shock you. Do you know that the queen took her to, to see the midwife? Do you know? I will stop being her friend if she continues like this. Because I cannot be her friend and I tell her the truth and she will not tell me the truth. So, yeah. It hasn't got into that. It's hers. Huh? If we're cool. What is it? What is it? never be this ridiculed in my life. How do I walk along the road? How do I interact with my mates? No. I cannot endure this shame. I cannot endure this shame. No. I have to end it here. What do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? Hey, 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 hey. Don't even act like you don't know what we're talking about. If I go, hmm, your plans with your love have failed, and that of the queen is pulling through. What are you going to do? Well, the king said I should calm down. Mm -hmm. You believe him? Of course I do. Keep coming down. You heard me. Keep coming down until the herbs the midwife gave you start working. That is when you will know. How did you know we went to see the midwife? Eh, uh, let's say I'm my sister's keeper. Greetings, midwife. My queen. Greetings, my queen. I do not want to sit. I was worried when I received your message that you were coming to see me with a lady. I want you to check her. Larry. Check her if she's with your child. Merely looking at her, I can say she is not. But I will examine her just to be sure. Excuse me. 
Where are you going to? thought you were pregnant don't mind that fool thank god for the herbs so gay gave to me that will no longer be effective why if i could the herbs the queen mother came back with have you drank it greetings my queen you sent for me. Take this. I got it from the midwife. You must take it every night for the next six days before going to bed. And you must dispose it after six days. Um, okay. Okay, my queen. Thank you, my queen. Wait. On a second thought, give it to me. You will come to my room instead to take it. Every night before going to bed for the next six days. Yes, my queen. Get out. Thank you, my queen. That's a neutralizer. It will help cleanse your system and prevent any infection that will stop you from conceiving. So, ye, how did you know? You know now, I, I hear and see everything that goes on in this palace. Sogi, how do you know all this? Seku, you're more like a sister to me. Yes, when the queen asked you to go back to the palace, I knew there was something behind it. I knew there was something they are going to say about you. So I stayed so I can listen. Ifreko, go back to the palace and no one must know you were here. Yes, you are. Right. So, so take some steps back. Father. My queen, I have questions that I want to ask, but I fear you might be offended. You know her, do you not? Yes, my queen. She is Idaho's daughter and your chief maid. So what is your question? Forgive your handmaid. But what business does a commoner like me have in the affairs of the queen of Azaba? Is she fit to give me a child? She is fertile and full of children. Good. I need you to give attention to her. Perhaps the gods might use her to give me a child. My queen, why? Why are you giving up on yourself so soon? You are still young and you are not barren. I am a barren woman. <sighs> My queen. That you have been married for years without children does not mean you are barren. I do not need a soothsayer to tell me. I know it. And I can feel it. I have accepted my fate. 
The young lady seems to be taking some preventive herbs. I will give you something to neutralize it and something to prepare her for a successful conception. Thank you. I will prepare it. I shall wait. Freko, what I think you should do now is to just run away. Yes. Ifeko, please, you need to leave this place. Run away. Else this woman will turn you into a baby-making shoes. Exactly. No, I can't. Why? The king loves me. The king loves you? The king loves you? Is that what you have to say? If I slap you now, hit your head there, you... you I remove this madness from your head. Can you have sense or what? Are you talking about love at this point? Hey, your destiny and everything you've lived for is at stake, my friend. No. I have nothing to lose. Fine, I, I don't mind the failure of the marriage between I and the king. If I give them a child, I'm going to be very rich. And I'll be so influential. Can't you see? Hmm. Lies. All lies. The lies he told you and you believed it. Ifeko, listen to us. We are your friends. We can't deceive you. Just run away. Don't beg her. Ifeko, you can go ahead and do anything and whatever you want. But do not say that I did not warn you. So gay. Come back, you don't have to go. She's still our friend. Okay. Fine. If I decide to run away now, as you said, what happens to my parent? My friend, you don't have to tell them. Just disappear. I can't. You can't. I can't. Oh yes, you can. I can't. You can't. Step already. I can't. If I could, please. The hole. Where are you? <sighs> Spirit of my mother, please protect my husband. <sighs> protect him. Please be very careful, okay? Please. I will. And please, don't forget you promised to go see my parents and explain everything to them. I will. And please don't forget to send words to me or your parents wherever you settle, okay? Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Where is the Fuego? My Queen, I do not know where she is. We have not seen her, my lady. My Queen, she is yet to retire to bed. Please. Thank you, my Queen. Thank you, my lady. If 
Fuego. My king. After all the promises I made to you, I still do not believe you tried to betray me. I'm sorry, my king. I was too scared. It was supposed to be a life of wealth and affluence. Do you not like that? Your father will never go to that forest to hunt again. And your mother will never be under the scorching sun famine. Male and female servants will be at your beck and call, fulfilling your wishes. All this sounds good, my king. But my friends feel you're deceiving me. What? I am sorry, my king. If we go. My king. We agreed it was supposed to be a secret between us. Why did you tell your friends? I'm sorry. I was just trying to be careful. Careful? Careful about me? Have I not proved enough to you that I'm serious about us? I am sorry, my king. It will never happen again. Please forgive me. Please. My friends, he loves and showers me with so much gift. I mean, just take a look at the bid he bought for me. <laughs> oh. Yes! And they're royalty, like royal beads. A pure royal bead. <laughs> you mean the king bought you these beads? He did! <laughs> <laughs> no! The king is doing what? Is meant to do. You can say that again. He <sighs> pampers me like a child. Are you sick? A guard trying to stop me from seeing my husband? Let her in. Call Ifeko out. Her mother is here to see her. And did her mother tell you why she's here to see Ifeko at this time of the night? Stop asking me questions and get her out! Okay, we have heard you. Let's go see her mother. Thank you. Ifeko, you are in it. We had an agreement. Why did you not come to my chambers? Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, my queen. I forgot. Larry! Mwe. And what is it? It is women business. Stay out of it. And if you don't tell me the content inside this calabash, she will not drink it. Asemuta. <clears throat> My king. Afuri, the housewife demands to see you on a matter of emergency. What is the emergency that you cannot handle? It is for the command of the king, my lord. What was that about? What are you referring to? The public! Display of affection on a maid! And I was only being human! Asemuta, I know you forget yourself a lot when it comes to that maid. But I'm always here to remind you of who you are. You dear! Not threaten me! I am still the king of Azaba Kingdom! 
I can do whatever I am fit. You should know by now that I, your wife, is Zigby. Do not sit back and watch you bring disgrace upon me. He's my presence. I am not done talking. And what did you say? What did you say? What are you referring to? The public display of affection on a maid! And I was only being human! Semuta, I know you forget yourself a lot when it comes to that maid. But I'm always here to remind you of who you are. You dare not threaten me! I am still the king of Azaba Kingdom! I can do whatever I am fit! You should know by now that I, your wife, is Zigby. Do not sit back and watch you bring disgrace upon me! He's your man! my presence! I am not done talking! And what did you say? What did you say? Midwife, please, will my daughter be fine? What is wrong with her? If we go... The shock of her father's death made her collapse. She will be fine. Okay, if we go... Midwife, the queen is told that you see her in her chamber before you leave. You have delivered your message well. You too? Yes? What are you doing here? Move! <laughs> Son of a law, I think! Midwife, are you sure she'll be fine? She'll be fine. <laughs> Woman! My king! I am sorry for the calamity that has befallen your family. May the gods see you through. You say... Uh, the midwife said if Fuko will be fine. So she said, my king. Olotu! Relieve Ifeko of her duties for now and give her time to mourn her father. Woman. My king. You can go with her when she wakes up. You may leave. Where's it? Where's it? What was so urgent? Congratulations, my queen. You have a seed grain in your bag. Shh. 
Do not be so loud. The walls have ears. I am sorry, my queen. I did not know that the news was meant for your ears only. Amazing. Not a word of this should mistakenly come out of your mouth. Oh. Yes, my queen. My queen, I have to go back now. I was attending to a woman in labor when I received the king's message to hurry to the palace. Ah, yeah. Thank you for bringing this great news to me. You can go now. I'll come by your place tomorrow. I will be expecting you. Sogi, hey, it's Oha. Are we not going to see our friend Ifeko again? Sogi, not today. Today is an unusual day. Why not we leave it for tomorrow? Never! We have to go now to see our friend. She needs us. We need to console her, to know how she's faring. Someone who just lost her father, and you stand there to say we will not go and see her. That's not good. I know. But I still have things to do for the king, and I can't leave them undone. Likewise, me. I still need to attend to the queen, our lady. She needs me to massage her before she goes to bed. But we need to go and see Ifeko. She's our friend and we are all she has. <sighs> okay, so okay. So when do you want us to go? Chief, you did media. Or I talk about you. Long may you reign. Yes, uh, my father once told me that you are a wise man. And that is because we are from the lineage of counselors. I want to believe you will be able to counsel me on matters that troubles my heart. Uh, Ogima, what I talk about? How may I be of help to you now? I want to know more about the royal lineage and the criteria for inheritance of the prince or any member of the royal household. Hmm. Uh, what talk about you? Uh, this your question by interpretation. I want to assume that uh, what you want to know is what will happen to the throne after you have gone to meet your ancestors since you don't have an heir. I hope I'm right. You exactly, right. my father. Hmm? Very simple. If it means one you give then just 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 get a young girl, beautiful girl. I know that befit your status. Who can get you and her to the throne? Simple. Three of us. What talk about you? My lord, what is the grief about? The fairness of your heart has been murdered by witchcrafts. There is no need to mourn, my lord. Cheer up. We are expecting a child. What? Yes, my lord. <sighs> Thanks to the gods. Thanks to my forefathers for making me see this day.
Come here. Come here, my queen. Go. Ah. So very soon. I'm going to be a father. Yes, my lord. But not by me. What? It's all right. Hey, your highness. Your highness. Your highness. Where are the two of you running to like helpless mothers? I'm so sorry, my lady. We're on our way to see our colleague. Yes, your highness. To see how she's faring. And who are you referring to? If I call my lady. Is she not in her quarters? No, your highness. My lady, the king relieved her of her duties. So she has gone home to mourn her father. I am sure the king did not relieve you of your duties to go and console the bereaved, did he? We, we are sorry. sorry. Your Highness. Your Highness. Get out. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Olotu, go and call me Idaosa. Tell him it's very urgent. I'll be waiting for him here. Yes, my king. Greetings, my queen. <sighs> Izebe, we spoke not long ago. So what brings you to my presence so soon? A king blinded by emotion will make a mess of the fine robe and crown upon his head. I can see you have made it a habit to humiliate and insult me in my palace. Hey you, Awa! The gods forbid that I insult my husband. But I have come to warn you that you are swimming in a sinking mud and you will soon make a mess of the throne. Woman, go straight to the point. Why did you send Ifeko home? Izebe, if you have a sick child, will you leave her in the care of another? I understood her mother wanted her clothes, so I sent her away. Even after what I told you? Asamuta, do you know that if her mother finds out, we'll have to make choices we cannot live with? Your news came late, after she had gone. And now? Let her grieve for a moment. Omakiri. Sogi, let us go. Sogi, 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 wait. Sogi, stop. I'm telling you the truth. I saw her leaving this palace. Please, let us go and find her before this evil woman returns. So gay! Don't get anxious over this. Let us leave it for tomorrow. Never! That is my problem with you. You're too weak. I detest your weakness. Don't worry, I will go there and I'll bring her greetings to you. So gay, wait! So gay, wait! Wait! I wanted to be sure if you can do a little favor for a poor barren woman. My queen, I will do anything in favor of Azaga. You shall be highly rewarded. Thank you, my queen. May the spirit of our mothers 
prosper your cause. You say, I shall be on my way now. Who I say, Amazon? Any car of Guerra. Kiwi. Do you want to join your father? You are too young at this age. Child, Mother, Child, you cannot understand my grief. I understand. You are my only child. I know it hurts you that your father could not give your hand in marriage and could not carry your first child. Laho, calm Mother. down. Mother, I'm so broken. I'm so pleased. <laughs> Stop crying. Look at your temperature, eh? Please. If we go, stop crying. The temperature is going up again. I'll try. I'm making helps for you. Here are you, bo. Here are some reward. How can I allow my son to be born out of wedlock? I need to do something. My king, I will advise that you forget this quest of having taken this maiden as a wife and focus on having her be a child for you. Out of wedlock? Of course not. I mean, the mother of the child is a queen. Unless you are adamant on betraying your wife. I don't know why she has chosen to be so evil. My king, my mother warned me never to betray a woman. Her tears can be like a curse to you. Besides, I warn you not to trade the secret of your throneship for me pleasure. You call it main pleasure? Is it not the same maiden you chose for me that you're condemning? Your Highness, that's because I told the Queen, we welcome the idea, like every other woman, just to save a uh, marriage. And uh, I did not know you would fall in love. What we wanted was a child. So what do I do now? Okay, man. Focus on having your hair and leave this love relationship for small boys, Your Highness. Ifueko! Have you gone Allah? Ifueko! This is serious. Where have this guy come from? Where were you? He did. My queen. Here are the beads you asked me to get for you. Put them in the basket. Yes, my queen. So, so you know what to do. Yes, my queen.
calle. Y fue como... O mi bebo. Un chiseco. I don't know. She was sitting here. Now I can't find her. Y fue como... Y fue como... Y fue como... Y fue como... Go. 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 What was she doing when you left? Like she was sitting there. Uh, uh. Could she have gone to? Could she have gone to? I don't, I don't know. Let me go for her. If I go! If I go! I promise to keep my lips sealed forever. This I promise my queen. I need to make sure it stays so. There's really no need for this. Ameze, this is the only way you can prove to me that you're trustworthy. As it pleases my queen. Ehi aviyeme! Ehi soke! The greatest and most adored queen that ever lived in the land of Azagba! Come, come, come and be a witness of confidence between your handmaid Ameze and your daughter, Queen Izegbe. Come, come, come. By blood and earth, I swear to the spirit of my mothers and the spirit of conception that I am will die with the secret of Queen Isabel's childbearing. Woman, what do you mean if Echo is nowhere to be found? Even a chick cannot disappear. Just like that. The way people are disappearing in your family, I hope you have not joined the witchcraft of the court. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> you know, uh, we are just saying, you know, that was exactly how a hot man in the hot just disappeared. <gasps> I was never from here. I think they are being used for rituals. <laughs> if I see one, I would know her. Thank you, my king. Woman, go home. The warriors will go in search of your daughter and they will bring her back alive. Olotu. Ensure her safe arrival home. Where say? I am beginning to suspect that you have a hand in Ifeko's disappearance. What disappearance? Do not. Be ridiculous! Are you trying to tell me that you have not heard that Ifeko is missing? 
And who says she's missing? Missing to where? She is nowhere to be found. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? My husband. I cannot say it to you in words. If you do not mind, please take a walk with me. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. Please, please, I beg you in the name of. Be quiet. If you had kept your legs closed in the first place, you will not be in this situation. I agree. I'm wild and foolish, but please, help me. You are a mother, a woman. How would you feel if someone does this to your child? I said be quiet. You think you can blackmail me emotionally? Well, there's nothing I can do for you. Okay, do not do it. Just tell me what to do to terminate this child. Maybe I would have been able to tell you what to do if I had not taken an oath of confidence with blood and earth with the queen. I feel something very fishy and I will get to the end of it. Sogi, I hope you do not get us into trouble someday. Come. Let us go. Go away. To bed. I hope so. Because if by money you find out that the boat of you is out of your quarters, you will be severely punished. We are going nowhere. Now get into your quarter now. Greetings, Aminze. What are we doing here? Be patient, my lord. Please give me a moment. Very fishy, and I will get to the end of it. Sogi, I hope you do not get us into trouble someday. Come, let us go. Go away. To bed. I hope so. Because if by money, 
find out that they bought a few snake out of your quarters, you will be severely punished. We are going nowhere. Now get into your quarter now. Greetings, Amenze. What are we doing here? Be patient, my lord. Please give me a moment. Get me the real robes I sent to you this afternoon. Yes. You should be clothed. to honor the royal seed growing inside of you. But you, to hear you, yeah, you shall suffer for taking a bite from my yam. Forgive me. Just let me go. I will go and never come back close to your household. I will make sure of that after the childbirth. The mother of Azagba. Please. Have mercy. Have mercy on me. You're already paying for your sins. <laughs> so do not beg me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it is enough. This is not good for your health. Let me die. Just leave me to die. My queen, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. What is the meaning of this? She's in there. And who is in there? You should go inside and find out.
<laughs> this is not the time. He's for this fear of affection. Isegbe, what has this spoken done to you? Why subject her to such torture? I thought we had an agreement on this. Why paint me an evil mastermind? If I could get up, let's go. Ah, what? She stays here until she births the child. Never! Asimota. This is not in your command, my lord. Is it me? Think about it. My plans would not be fruitful if the gods and the spirit of our past mothers were not in it. Dare me, and I will invoke the spirit of motherhood to torment and haunt you. I am king. And kings do not swear oath. Not by blood. Nor by earth. earth. I know that. But I also know that I cannot trust you in the matter concerning this thing giving us a child. Is it me? If you need reassurance, I, King Asemuta, your husband, guarantee you that I will never betray you. My lord, it is betrayal that brought us here in the first place. Do not mention. Isegbe, whatever happens, you will still remain the queen and the mother of a Zabaland. If I could hear can never compete that with you and she knows it. Enough! We are all taking the oath right now! Or you risk your people revolting and the calamity that befalls you. What does that mean? Remember Adolo? Hmm. Hmm. Is it me? Please ask for anything else, and I shall give it to you. But please, not by swearing an oath. This is all I want from you. Are you ready? Your hand, my lord. I, King Asamuta. Swear by the Mother Earth and the Spirit of Conception by my blood that I will never betray my wife, Isegbe, on this mother bearing the child by Ifeko.
your hand. Uh -huh. Start from there. Go back. Go st start from that place. My friend. Yes. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> you were missing at some time last night, and still wake up. By the early hours of this morning to sneak out. So, Gie, where did you go to? My friend, you know I was trying to trade the paths the king and the queen followed. But it's so unfortunate. I couldn't trace them. But my instinct tells me they went to see the midwife. The confusion here is what would the king and the queen be doing at the midwife's house at that time of the night? So, gee, the queen is seeking for the fruit of the womb. And the midwife is the one helping her out. So what's strange about that? At that time of the night, the king and the queen, there is something going on. Something is strange here. Maybe they went to make some sort of sacrifice. I don't think so. Something is really going on. Something is really going on. I can place my hands to it. My friend, I would advise you you learn to stay off people's business. And what if it has to do with Ifeko? What if? <sighs> my mother told me that every seeking mother goes for early morning therapy. Our queen has never paid such visits. Oh. Could it be that? What? <laughs> For me? Sorry. No sense. What to finish this and leave this place? I heard you. Ifeko, what are you doing outside? I'm taking fresh hair. Then go to the backyard. A passerby might see you sitting here. The back is too lonely for me. You will force me to be hard on you if you continue to be stubborn. What do you stand to gain in all this? Did the queen pay you to do this? Or is she going to give you a piece of land for this? Tell me, and I'll convince the king to pay you better. If we go, no wonder the queen's heart is hardened towards you. Now go inside before I drag you like a cheap slave. Of 
for it. I understand how you feel. But life must go on. Idaosa, what is life when all I've lived for is taken away from me? I blame the gods that allowed this misfortune to befall you. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Thanks for your concern. You're a good man. And you've proven to be a good friend. You grieve for the loss of your husband. But my heart grieves that the only woman I've ever loved is going through all this pain. <sighs> the whole sir. That is in the past now. Let the past be in the past. I know it's the past. I know. But the truth is, even when a wound is healed, the sight of the scar see pierces the heart. For you. That whole sir. Any cow! Any cow! Wamurume, Egboja Wome, Egboja Wome, Igiseti, Igiseti, Zegwana, Igiseti. What are you trying to do? If there is no pregnancy, I'll be free from the devil of a queen! Well done trying to commit suicide. Because that is the only thing you will achieve from that herb you squeezed in there. I will not keep this child! I will not! You will. Because you cannot flush out a royal seed just like that. Maybe a legally married woman cannot! But what am I to the king that I will be bound by the custom and tradition of the royal home? What am I? You know what you are to the king. And it is not the circumstances surrounding the birth. It is the blood of the child crying for life and resisting death. And <laughs> If we go, you have stressed yourself enough for one day. Come inside and rest. Sogi, have you noticed how happy the queen looks since she became pregnant? <laughs> the question should be, have you noticed how happy the queen is since the disappearance of Ifeko. So gay. Let it be, please. So you don't get us into trouble. That is it. How come all of a sudden the queen is pregnant? So gay. You told her. I know what she has done. What do you know? According to her plans, she had Ifeko hidden somewhere, somewhere no one else will see her. Since she found out Ifeko is having an affair with the king, she caught Ifeko and the king in the king's bed. Oh, Salogwa. Wait. Was Ifeko pregnant? And why did she not tell us? We need to look for her. Sugi. How? Where do we find her? That is the question. Now, we have to pay attention to the king's and the queen's movements. Every of their movements. Then, we will know where. You think so? I know so.
woman. What brought you here? You no know, give me that talk, me. Sir. My king, it's been months since the disappearance of my daughter, Ifueko. I came to see, perhaps, she has been found. Woman, like I promise you, your daughter will be found and brought back. Okay, man, talk me. Sir. Worries. After the second one. Wese, Uge, Wese. Ifeko, I had you almost committed suicide. I'm tired. I just want to end it. I'm tired. Did you think of what would happen to your poor mother? If your dead body was taken to her like that of your father? I will comfort her in the spirit world. If I go, please. I need you to live for me and our unborn child. Please, do not try it again. You talk about my mother as if you're concerned about her. Why not tell her I'm here? You know that will not be good for us. My mother is a good confidant. She will keep it till death. Just tell her. Uh, a broken pot is a broken pot. Uh, well, if he still wants the pot in his condition, I don't think we should uh, stop him. Let's hear the king's verdict before you begin to make your blind impute. Uh, look here, talk, babe. Yes, uh, say something about this matter. Because the young man is waiting to hear your words. <laughs> to your poor mother if your dead body was taken to her like that of your father i will comfort her in the spirit world if i go please i need you to live for me and our unborn child please do not try it again you talk about my mother as if you're concerned about her why not tell her I'm here? You know that will not be good for us. My mother is a good confidant. She will keep it till death. Just tell her. Oh, oh. I miss Ifeko so, so. 
so much. I miss her so, so much. I can feel her spirit all over. I can feel it. I miss her too. I know she's still alive. If not, I would have seen her in my dreams. Are you now a CI to her? It's okay. I am serious. I know what I am saying. Ifeko, where did you leave us so? Ifeko, I know you can hear my cry. Ifeko! Ifeko, is there? Oh, you might don't know. I'm trying to be funny here. Yeah. And how are you doing here? Yeah? I'm, I'm trying to be strong. So I can pray to my mother. So that they can help me protect my daughter if I go. Until she returns safe to me. <laughs> I know our mothers will keep her safe wherever she is. We're so sorry we've not been coming to visit. But since the disappearance of Ifeko, the king has retreated all our movements. Yes, yes. Yes. It is necessary at this time. God forbid that anything happens to the protest. You see. What is the king saying about her search? Oh, I'm your. Says she shall be found. <laughs> our mothers, please hear my cry. I pray our friend Ifeko is found. See, I believe and I hope so. She will be found. If I can't be found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Please do take, take care, care of yourself. yourself. Please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You are off to bed early. Let us say I want to have a meeting with my ancestors. Mm. That will not send me away. What do you want? My husband. I am carrying our first child. And common sense should tell you that people will begin to raise eyebrows at the distance to see us. Let brows raise. I do not care who is watching and where they are watching. Well, I care. That is why I'm here. I've come to spend the night with you. And it will continue like this until the child comes. So you will have your life back when I start nursing our child. You always have your way. Do you not? That is why I'm your queen.
do not worry. Everything will soon come to an end. My king, I have thought of this carefully. I think we should stick to the plans. What about our love? All our dreams together. It cannot be. This should not have happened at all. The gods are wise. They have reasons for shutting down the queen's womb. My king, you should have waited a little more. This is causing you troubles in your marriage and I'm not happy. Do not worry about that. By the time you give birth safely, we will know who is in control of Azagbaland. What about the oath? That is the only thing I'm worried about. But I'm very sure the chief priests will do something about it. For now, let's wait till you give bed. My husband. I want to be alone. Yeah. Moments like these are best spent with loved ones. Hmm? How far gone is she? I was going to ask the midwife that today. You were supposed to have done that before now. I forgot. I only thought about it this morning. So are you going to see her today? We are seeing her today. And who is we? A senator. I will no longer tolerate you sneaking out at night to go be with her. You are seeing her for the last time tonight until she gives birth. And I will go nowhere with you. <sighs> if you do not let this go peacefully, I will change plans. You will do no such thing. You will not dare me, Asemuta. You will not try me. Else, you will hear about her change of location. You will only get to see your child once she gives birth. As in, damn! Okay. You made me warm. Enjoy yourself, my husband. And do not forget her gifts and rewards, as promised. Queen just asked me to bring out all robes and accessories she kept for her unborn baby. What is strange about it? I do not realize that pregnancy is close to birth. Madam midwife, are you the midwife that calculates pregnancy days? Well, that is not why I'm curious. My question is why she never gets attended to like every other woman, whenever she goes to see the midwife. Hmm. Hmm. Curiosity, they say, killed the cat. <laughs> you better shut this your two small eyes. 
and be the maid that you are in this palace. Mm -hmm. I did not say anything. Better watch your mouth. <laughs> Go. Look at who I'm even trying to pass information to. And aside not being attended to like the other women, what else did you notice? I did not say anything, no. You did not say anything. I see. Do you know the queen always take you and Osasu for her therapy because she believes she can trust you too? Sogi, I do not know what you're talking about. Mm. Watch me drag you to the queen and tell her how you've gossiped and made mockery of her pregnancy. Please, do not put me in trouble. Are you ready to tell me what I need to know? I mean everything. My king, she is doing better now. She no longer cries and the baby is in good condition. So how soon are we hoping to hear the cry of the child? My queen, I was going to have a discussion with you. What is the matter? You just said all is well. All is well, my king. So what then do you want to discuss with me concerning the child? My queen, we should be expecting the child earlier than we thought. Really? It is good news. Hmm. It is. Start talking. Now. The truth is, the queen never takes her medication or massages. They just talk and we leave. And what if the queen goes for her massages and medication on separate days you are not aware of? The queen never goes for her therapy. Except on special days. Special days? I heard the midwife has stopped attending to other women since the queen started going there for her checkups. Is that true? Yes, that is very true. The midwife has stopped working for now until the queen puts to bed. I also heard she goes to visit women with critical conditions in their houses. So I heard too. Oh, you heard? Tell us everything. Everything! Start talking! Ufeko. My king. Here is the reward I promised you. My king, this is not what you promised me. I do not need your money. You need to know I am doing this because of your safety and the safety of your unborn child. She has told you something else, right? Some things are better left unsaid. Focus on your safety. My king, even though I do not know what you're talking about, but I will just pretend I do because of the trust I have for you. That trust is what you need now. And you have to understand I care so much about you and that's of your unborn child. Do you know it is that evil spell of an oath that is making me tolerate you. My lord, one more wrong move from you concerning this matter. And I will prove to you that you have more than a spell to deal with. You have been stuck in me. Hmm. Let us just say, the winds have been kind enough to bring flying words my way. 
And thanks to the gods for revealing the intents of wicked men like you. And what makes you think the gods are with you? My lord, you are the one struggling with your plans, not me. I hope I have answered your question, my lord. Leave me. <laughs> Asemota, do not try to cook another plan. It will not work. Egbainwe. Zebe! Leave me alone! I am sorry, my lord. Um, just so you know, I have some white men who are interested in young maidens. I am so sure your concubine will make a harlotry business profitable with those scarves she's endowed with. You will not dare! I will not if you do not make me. You know you are the one making me do the things I do. When you stop, I will stop. Arowa! Arowa! Anna! Who are you and what do you want? I am in need of a healer, so I was directed here. You were directed rightly, but I'm not attending to people for now. Please, I really need your help. The gods help you. Go to Adodo. There is a healer there. Ha, ah, Adodo is far. Please, wait. Woman! I cannot help you for now. Please leave. Thank you so much. You have done noble. Here is your money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Today, I will get to the root of this. Ifeko! 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 Sogi, I told you, there is no one here. Let us go. No. I saw that woman leave this house. I know Ifeko is inside there. Come. Ifeko. 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 <laughs>
the root of this. There is no one here. Let us go. No. I saw that woman leave this house. I know Iseko is inside there. Come. Iseko. Iseko. The midwife said I should come today. You know we are expecting the child soon. That arrangement is wrong. How do you mean? You cannot go to her place and bet a child. Talk more of going there to spend some days. She should come here and attend to you. But you know she cannot do that. She cannot be brought here. Talk to her about it. She will find a way around it. What is what doing is what doing well. It was. I took the oath with him because he promised everything would be fine. Please call in Sogi. I have something to show the both of you. No, we do not have to call her. She's outside watching out for the midwife, so we do not get into trouble. You're right. He gave me this money. <sighs> Hello, too. My king. Tell my cabinet the news you received today about the Fuego. Greetings, my king. My elders of Asagba land. <clears throat> I got a news from a white trader who came to the market square this morning that Ifweko 
is living with a white man at his seal. Ah! Abomination! Ah! Now I see why our grandfathers did not allow them to come into our land. We must not let them in. Uh, your Highness, you see, they go to other communities with development and teach them good things. But they would come here with high lottery and strange gods. I agree with you, my brother. But I want to also say, Your Highness, that um, we should verify this news. It could just be a mere rumor. Yes, it could just be a mere rumor. Be it rumor or not, henceforth, I do not want to see or hear about the white man in this land. Olotu, I think. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay, man, I talk to you, sir. Your Highness, what I see is the spirit of your great grandfather, late King Edegbe Enoense, coming to life through you. But why he is angry with you is what I have not seen. Because the gods are yet to speak. Chief Priest. Your Highness. So what do I do? I am confused myself. You are the mouthpiece of the gods. Your Highness. That is why I came to see you. To tell me what to do. But since you have no solution, I shall perish in my confusion. Hmm. The palace altar? The palace altar? Yes, your highness. The palace altar makes sacrifice to the spirit of your late great-grandfather, the late king, Edegbe Enoyensi. He may be appeased to speak in clear terms. But, your highness, what is this debate on two women about? That is why I came to see you. But since you don't have answer to my questions, I should take my leave. Your Highness. Greetings, Iye. How are you, Soge? I'm very fine, Iye. How are you today? The gods have been kind, my dear. Thanks be to the gods for all their deeds. Iye, where are you going to this early? I'm actually going to Usio to look for your friend, Ifweko. Usio? Who, who told you Ifweko is at Usio? The king sent word yesterday that if I was with some white men there. Oh, Salobwa! The king said that to you? Yes. He <gasps> what? what do you know? What he also knew? Please, you need to put yourself together. I will tell you everything you need to know about if disappearance. So gay! So you knew! Yes, I know everything. Everything the king said to you was all a lie. He lied to you. Fuego, it is okay. Stop crying. Do not tell her to stop crying. Do not! Eh? I don't know if I should be pitying you or I should give you dirty slap. This girl, you're very, very stupid. So gay. Do not so give me. Do not! Don't try it! What do I do? 
<laughs> what do I do? How will you know? Why did you not say no there and then? So gay! Under such condition? What are you saying? Soki, stop it. Our friend needs us now. Leave this scolding and cautioning to her parent. I dare not take this to them. I dare not take this to my parents. You will. You must. You must take it to your parents. If I when you were busy opening, opening, you did not remember you will not take it to them. If I go, is there something you're not telling us? The king, the king asked me to keep it secret. How? Oh! And you agreed? You agreed to keep it? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Is it cool? Is it that you, you don't remember your background? Where you're coming from? Your parents? Everything? So gay. They say children come from the gods. If it is destined by the gods that the spirit of my forefathers we come to this world through me. I, King Asemuta, Omoegbe, Edegbe, welcome you all to the royal home of Azabaland. Sir. I heard you went to make sacrifice to your forefathers. What was it about that you refused to invite me? It does not concern you. And since when do I get excluded from the affairs of the past? Exactly! It is too early for this! Maheria. Oswashi. Sogi, wait, are you sure she's here? If I go, if I go, calm down. If I can't calm down, if I go, if I go, is inside there. I need to go back to the palace before they will search for me. If I go, come outside. If you are really here, what do you know about it? Nothing, my queen. Aside the fact that the king has been visiting the chief priest, for matters never said to my hearing, my queen. So you mean my husband has been visiting the shrine? Yes, my queen. I hope the chief priest is not trying to help Asemuta break the oath. Midwife, where is my daughter? Where is Ifweko? I heard she's with white men at Tusio. You heard what? My only child? Midwife, bring my daughter out. Open this door. I was told she's pregnant. And you have her? <laughs> Ila poli ya kame kila mugo ho kebo ba ho kebo ba kebo ho we. Ah, your highness, my queen. Ah, I brought you gifts. All these for me. Uwesi, please be seated. Uwesi. Uwesi. Hmm. Thank you very much, my queen. Oh, book here, oh, loyo, eh? Oh, loyo, give me. Oh, give no nyazagba. Oh, book here, you are welcome, my queen. Oh, see. Hmm. 
<laughs> All this for me. Yes, we. <laughs> hmm. I will walk out of your van with you, you go go. I sell you my ugo. You go go, I do. I van le. I sell you my ugo. How is the queen and the unborn prince doing? We are doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> my queen, may this child not bring you doom. Are you saying I'm carrying an evil child? I see a basket of deceits dripping blood on your head. Ah, God forbid. <laughs> I did not see any sign of pregnancy in her. You lie! Midwife! Hey, hey! Oh, mock money! Hey! You will provide my child. I've been tattered enough of you. Ah, boy! Is that it, one? You have not seen anything, oh? You are the one who did not try your You, you are the one who did not try your You will provide my child. Afure, midwife, leave my compound. Hey! I will put down, I will, I will burn this down. I will burn down this one. Afure, leave my compound. Which house? Without my child. Provide my daughter for me. Afure, leave my compound now! Midwife. You will kill me first! Afre, I will kill you! Yes! Afre, leave my compa! Afre, leave my compa! Leave my compa! You will kill me first! You will kill me first! Come on! I will return! I will return! I will return! Go! I will return! Go! I will I shall return! I may be able to help you if you are willing to come out with the truth about your pregnancy. <laughs> okay. hmm. What truth do you seek to know about my pregnancy? The basket of deceit signifies evil orchestration. And because you are the one carrying it, it means you are the mastermind. Help me and my child. <laughs> Remember, help comes to those who are willing to be helped. Hmm. Oluima. You are carrying a false pregnancy. But I see a child in your bosom. What is this? Hmm. What is this? <laughs>
Oh, man. I may be able to help you if you are willing to come out with the truth about your pregnancy. <laughs> what truth do you seek to know about my pregnancy? The basket of deceit signifies evil orchestration. And because you are the one carrying it, it means you are the mastermind. Help me and my child. <laughs> Remember, help comes to those who are willing to be helped. Hmm. Oh, you are carrying a false pregnancy. But I see a child in your bosom. What is this? Hmm. What is this? <laughs> You know the situation. Hmm? I am so sorry. Hmm. Oh. My tongue is ready to confess. Lao you must promise me. You must promise me that you will protect me from this guilt of blood. Oloyogima, the queen of the royal harem, bear in mind that you are kneeling before the girls of Azaba. Speak no deceit, lest you provoke the wrath of the gods. God of our land, have mercy on me. Oh. I speak from a place of pain and betrayal. Oh. And not, I, I, I do not seek pleasure from this. Gods of our land, have mercy on me. Chief oh. 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 you are the closest to my husband. That is why I chose you to help me speak to him. Lao. Uh, what is it, my queen? My husband, the king, is overwhelmed with thought he has refused to speak to me about. And the midwife has given directives on what to do to make me conceive in the new moon. And my husband would not comply. I cannot even remember the last time he invited me over to his chambers. Not to talk of look at me in the eye as his wife. Though you are the queen, but I see you as my daughter. So I will treat you as my daughter and tell you the truth. Wesse. Oh, what truth? <laughs> mm. See, the Council of Elders are mounting pressure on the king to take another woman as wife who will bear him an heir. As a matter of fact, he is with a maiden who he will propose marriage to as we speak. My husband. 
A what? Never. Oh, we must get a what? A what? My lord, do not forget I'm just a maid in this palace. Ifako, allow me to send words to your father and make you my second queen. My lord. Ifako, I love you so much. Allow her to go up. Uh, if I could go back to your duties. Sit down. Easy, me. I like it. When you call me by my name, it reminds me of who I am. And where I come from. But what about you? Do you remember how you got here? And what this can do to you? It ends here. And I will never try this again. No. You will continue. With the affair. And give me a son through her. What? It seems the gods have withheld the gift of childbearing from me. And since the both of you are fond of yourself, you two will give me a child. Do not happen. I rather take her as my second wife, and she will bear me an heir <clears throat> honorably. Then I shall tell Adolo what your father and. His father forgot to tell him. Then let me see how you will remain king. Not to talk of looking for an heir. Is this the blackmail of what? A samuta, a marume. If you choose to give it a name, then that is what it is. My colleagues, I will talk to you soon. And what if I do not? Then I shall tell your people how your mother coerced your father. To declare you the heir. I am sure you are ready to tell your people the story of how you became king. Hmm. I see. I see. I see. Mm. I... I understand that my... My husband... Has been visiting you to help him revoke the oath to keep this a secret for life. <laughs> the quest he came here with is quite a different one. Should I... 
Should I be aware of my husband? Is he planning evil? <laughs> he seeks to revoke the spell by the late king Edebwe. And the king has been visiting him in his dreams. He might have to take the maiden for a wife. Because the child is going to be the reincarnated King Edekwe Enoensi. Oye. Mm -hmm. Why did the gods deny me of this honor? Perhaps if you had come to me earlier, I would have shown you a better path to tread. But I fear the path you tread now might lead to your doom. But you promised to help me if I told you the truth. The element of the oath contradicts the spirit of justice. You swore by blood and the earth and no one was supposed to hear what you all agreed on. Uh, that was not stated in the oath. Besides, I told you out of the confidence that you are the chief priest. Meme. Me? A me mortal with ears. Controlled me into telling him everything with a promise that he will protect me from impending danger. What took you there? You have been acting weird lately. So I had to go there to find out what you're up to again. Now that you know and expose me to the whole world, I hope you're happy. Wevo? What about you? Now that you've succeeded in making me turn the face of the gods against myself, are you happy? I go so on I go so on You know you're very good at using people's pasts and secrets against them. You should look for one of his secrets and use against them. So he can make sacrifices and save you. You can mock me all you want. But you will never succeed in your plans. Never! Because even in death, I will haunt you. So do not rejoice yet that I will die. I will not die! I will We will go see him and seek solution together. Stop crying. <laughs> Leave us. What is the problem? There are too many eyes looking out for her in my compound. I fear she might have been seen by someone. So what are you going to do? You know, if it was in a normal circumstance, I would have asked a guard or two to watch you. I think I should induce her so that she can give birth soon. 
induce? Will that not affect the child? The child will be fine, my queen. Oh, all right. Um, so, how, how is it going to be? You will have your child by morning. Let me go and induce her now. I pray the gods make her give birth this night. Yes, sir. Amazing. You must remember that I do not want her to leave after the childbirth. I will do everything at your best interest, my queen. Alright. Let me go now. The only way out is to revoke the oath. A what? Then be prepared to join your ancestors in six days. Wise one. Please, no. ignore her. She's only a woman. She's the host of the spirits. If the spell guarding the oath must be broken, then it must come from her heart. Confidence that we shall all die with the secrets of Ifeko bearing you a child. The only thing stopping me from taking Ifeko as my second wife is the scandal behind her pregnancy.
now that you know that this spell does not stop me from marrying Ifeko as my second wife, do you still want to lose your life? The gods forbid that I lose my life because of that witch and let her take my place. Awa! What do I do now? Please, help me go to the palace. When you get there, ask any of the guards that you want to see Itoa. Okay? Call her for me. Thank you. Please hurry up. Run! Run! How do I know this is not a setup? Because you brought yourself here! My son. Your Highness. I'm sorry. I'll be meeting with my cabinet by dusk. Okay, give her a talk by it. Nice one. Laho! How do we revoke the oath? Hmm. The elements used for the oath taking must be brought here, and a replica of the cause it was used for. My son, your highness, I do not understand. The sand and the blood used for the oath taking must be brought here, and the placenta of the child. How do I get the placenta of a child that is yet to be born? I see How? the child coming very soon. <laughs> but take note, you can only use the placenta of the child if you witness the birth of the child and cut the placenta by yourself. As you all know, my elder brother, Idaho, is dead. I am still in mourning. And recently I get the news that his daughter, my niece, Ifueko, is missing. Hmm. <clears throat> I cannot sit back and do nothing. I cannot sit back and do nothing and that is why i called you here because i have it on good authority that the midwife is hiding my knees hmm. please i cannot lose two family members at the same time within a short period of time i need you to follow me to the midwife's place let us search and bring back my knees i beg of you Osaro. We shall stand by you. Yes. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you.
Where are you going? I need to be there when she's giving birth. So I can get the baby placenta to give to the chief priest so he can invoke the oath. Oh, I see. But I thought you said the midwife told you the baby's birth will happen at night. She said so. But I do not want to take chances. Or do you want to use this as an avenue to commence your marriage? With your harlot. Good luck. Good luck, Your Highness. <laughs> to be there when she's giving birth so I can get the baby placenta to give to the chief priest so he can invoke the oath oh I see but I thought you said the midwife told you the baby's birth will happen at night she said so but I do not want to take chances or do you want to use this as an avenue to commence your marriage with your harlot Good luck. Good luck, Your Highness. <laughs> Ah! Oh! 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 Oh!
How you be? I will not, Sogi. We promise we are not going to tell her mother nor anyone. You what promise. You promise. I did not promise. Did you get that right? When she was telling you, you said, okay, okay, okay. I kept my lips sealed. I did not say anything. Sogi, you know we just betrayed her friend and what she has in us. You the Why person. did you do it? You, it is you that betrayed her and not me. You betrayed her because you're the weakling. You are. I cannot sit here and watch my friend suffer. For what? If Weko will be mad at you by the time she returns, I bet you know that. Is she a slave? She's not a slave. I will never allow her to be one. And when she's back, she will understand the meaning of what I did for her. Then she will give me food and say thank you. Oh, really? So now that you've told the mother, what did she say she would do about it? It's all. Yes? The little boy is waiting for you in front of the palace. Little boy? What is his name? I don't know. Let's go. Come back here. That is Olotu. That's one of his pranks and his tricks to get me close to him. He can't even bore a woman. But I always keep on using different excuses to get me close to him. Let him wait there. He would wait there till he grows gray hair. Nonsense. And for you, mind the way you speak to me. Next time you speak to me like that, I'll give you death. Then you mind what you say with your mouth. Talkative. Nonsense. What is it? Okay. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah brought you here to harass me. Claim to have evidence of if we could be here. Um, did they take her? No. She was not here when they came. Thanks to the gods. So, what did you tell them? I maintained my stand. Why is she not? My queen. I do not know. She is not yet to be found. All her belongings are gone. What do you mean? She's nowhere to be found. She was not here when I came. All her belongings are gone. Awa! Awa! Ebenia! Ebenia! The wishes of the wicked shall never come to fruition. Go and search for her right now. Awa! I must find her. I must find her. Oh! 
Trouble with it when she returns and if Weko is not found. And I am also in trouble with the villagers. Hey! Gods of our land. What should I do? What should I do?
Is that not even cool's voice? My queen. Where's my husband? The king is not in the palace, my queen. Let me know as soon as he gets back. mother's place. Anytime we have a chance, we go and see her. Sugi, I am overwhelmed with some sense of grief. And I do not know where this feeling is coming from. Are you sure you're okay? I was meaning to ask you, but I felt it was the weather. For looking at you, Itoa, do not worry. Ifeko, our friend, she's safe. I'm very sure she's at her mother's place. It's okay. Can we go and see Ifeko's mother when we are free? Yes, at least to know how the confrontation with Ifeko's uncle 
went. We will. Just try to put yourself together. The more you mention her name, the more I feel... Ifeko! 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 Welcome to the world, my child. Welcome, welcome. If you're safe, you're safe. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you have news of my daughter? No, Iye. We should be asking you that. She is not there, so gay. She's no. She, we, we saw her there, we, we did. We were there, but she was nowhere to be found. There was no evidence or trace that she was in that place at all. What could have happened to her? Wait, oh, maybe she ran away. Or oh, maybe they changed her location. Yes. It's on. So again, they pass her. The question here is, can the two of you stand up as witnesses? Because I am planning to take this matter up to the king's cabinet. Yes, yes. we will we'll stand by you. We are ready. Everything and anything you want us to say, we will say it. Good. <laughs> what could have happened to her? Could it be that she ran away? It's okay. How could she have run away without telling us? We're talking about someone who has been comfortably living with the midwife without informing anybody. No. You don't have to judge her. We don't know how she's feeling right now. <sighs> I'm not judging her. It's just that I do not know how to react to this anymore. It's That's confusing. Shut up! Let us return to the palace quickly before our absence has been noticed. My king, it has been taken care of. Good. And I hope no one saw you. I was trained to save you with my life, my king. Greetings, my king. The midwife is not in the house. You should have waited for her to come. Knowing the urgency of this matter. My king, her house looked deserted. It seems so may have after her life. She must have fled Azaba. You may leave. What kind of complication is this? How is this baby going to survive this? All this would be in vain. My king, the baby will be fine. I saw the queen on my way here. The baby has been cleaned up. How? I did not ask, but I am sure the queen did what she had to do. Assemble all the cabinet members. Let the town crier sound the gong, announcing the birth of my son. <laughs> What? Why is 
Everybody busy in the palace. Everybody's happy. What is going on? The queen just gave birth to a male child. And the king ordered the guards to slaughter the fattest of his goats. The queen just gave birth? Are you not happy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. uh, Mr. Finally, the throne of Azagba finally has an heir. Yes. <laughs> the queen just gave birth. It's all so key. Could it be? Ebe na pere, ebe na pere. Eh. Anya me farati yo ta eno odio. Ti we ebe na pere, ebe na pere. Eh. Anya me farati yo ta eno odio. Ti we ebe na pere, ebe na pere. Eh. Anya me farati yo ta eno odio. in the palace. Everybody's happy. What is going on? The queen just gave birth to a male child. And the king ordered the guards to slaughter the fattest of his goats. The queen just gave birth? Are you not happy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. uh, Mr. finally, the throne of Azagba finally has an heir. Yes. <laughs> the queen just gave birth? It's all. Suki, could it be? You don't get a
Come on, you'll be fast. We are celebrating the birth of Head to the Throne, the Prince of this King, of this Duke. Knock your man, I talk to Come on, where are you? 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 Where Ya 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 wa wa eh but take note you can only use the placenta of the child if you witness the birth of the child and cut the placenta by yourself. Who is there? Who is there? Go with the child. I've been so carried away with the arrival of my child. What about the oath? The child is here and I was not there when she, when she gave birth to him. Why are you disturbing yourself over circumstances you have no control of? But he said I would die. I have the placenta of the baby. I will take it to the chief priest to intercede on your behalf. I hope the gods will intervene. Will the gods have mercy on me? Focus on nursing your baby. I will resolve this. What about if Ifweko? You do not want to know. I want to know. I have some guests at the journal. I just came to see my baby. You sent her away, did you not? You just gave birth. You need to rest. Do not let people start sending you. Jumping around like a dancer. <laughs> what could they have done to her? Do not imagine it, Sogi. 
But you can feel it. Do you not? Yes, I can. <sighs> Let us try and see the child. No. We need to look for her. We need to look for Ifeko. So, Gil, where do we start from? We need to find out where the king and the queen were last. That way, we will know where she is. Mm. You see? Here you are. The king demands to see the both of you right now. Okay. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings. Sogi, you served the Queen? Yes, my King. You told her? Yes, Your Highness. You are the head of the kitchen? Yes, Your Highness. You shall relinquish your duties to Adisua? Yes, Your Highness. You shall be the caregiver of the newborn prince? It's an honor, Your Highness. Uwesi. You know the responsibilities it carries, do you not? Yes. Owesi. Inogia Tokbei. What's up? Go ahead. How dare you! Go to the village! Do you fetch stories about the death of my child? I am sorry, my king. Please, have mercy on your servants. And who are the rumor mongers that brought the stories to you? Please, forgive me, your highness. Speak! Oh, your highness. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. What? I saw something. It's okay, what did you see this time? I saw the child's placenta. Who's child? The queen's child. Where did you keep it? I kept it somewhere very safe. Nobody will see it. Nobody. But why do we not take it to our mother? How are we sure it's hers? Eh? Have you forgotten? You and I know the queen was never Shh. pregnant. Yes, the so queen was never pregnant. Suki, so careful. The wings carry what fast as my human lips. So what do we do about it now? Come, let's go. Be careful. Ah, so okay, be careful so you don't fall. Let us bury it here. Okay, you go and get the cut last fast. No, here. Yeah. Go and get the cut last fast. Let's no, go. we don't need cutlass. We we'll make use of what we see. Okay, look around. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick. <laughs> so, sorry. Today. <laughs> We'll bury this here. Yes. And let this be the symbol of our bond. Anytime we want to talk about Ifeko, we will come to this place. Alright. Alright. Greetings, my king. My king. Soge and Itoa are not in the palace, my king. All right. Olotu. My king. Take Osaro to the dungeon. And you. Ma! Fale! Ma! Bring the two maidens to me once they come back. Yes, your eyes. Good.
Greetings, my king. The maidens of Sarah mentioned are in my custody, my king. Bring them here and tell Olutu to bring Osaro at once. Yes, my king. Your Highness, I swear, we do not know anything about this matter. Yes, Your Highness, she's telling the truth. We did not tell of Epa Osaro anything. Osaro here is the last of my husband's lineage. Have mercy. Ah. I knew I would be putting an end to a man's lineage if I behead him. Else, his head would have fallen off his shoulders at the sound of his voice confessing he made the rumor. Osaro, my late husband's brother, is a man of low understanding. He only acted out of grief. Oh, have mercy. Osaro. Yes, Your Highness. Go out there. Cry out to everyone. Tell them you made the rumor out of grief. Then your sins shall be forgiven. Look who is frequenting my chambers. <sighs> Why do you like to use every opportunity that come by to fight me? Come on for once. Flow with me. Children indeed bring joy to every home they are blessed with. I am going to see the chief priest with the baby's placenta to see how he can revoke the oath. I pray the gods favor me. He said. Please, take care of him. Sugi, stop! I'm not going anymore. Where are you dragging me to? I just told you there is something I saw. I need to show you. So get the seer. Can you stop seeing things and stop interfering into people's business? It's so hard. By the time you see what I'm about to show you, I believe you will not see all these things you're saying. Come with me. It all. I took the oath with him because he promised everything will be fine. Please, call in Sogi. I have something to show the both of you. No, we do not have to call her. She's outside watching out for the midwife, so we do not get into trouble. You're right. He gave me this money. <sighs> she was here. Sogi, let us go. If anyone sees us here, we may be in trouble. No! We cannot leave her like that. Now we have a clue that she was here. I have a feeling that she's somewhere, somewhere in this bush. Let's go in and search for her. Sogi, remember I have a child to care for in the palace and I do not have to stay out long. What do we do?
dragging me to. I just told you there is something I saw. I need to show you. So get this here. Can you stop seeing things and stop interfering into people's business? It's so hard. By the time you see what I'm about to show you, I believe you will not see all these things you're saying. Come with me. It all. I took the oath with him because he promised everything will be fine. Please, call in Sogi. I have something to show the both of you. No, we do not have to call her. She's outside watching out for the midwife, so we do not get into trouble. You're right. He gave me this money. <sighs> she was here. Sogi, let us go. If anyone sees us here, we may be in trouble. No! We cannot leave her like that. Now we have a clue that she was here. I have a feeling that she's somewhere, somewhere in this bush. Let's go in and search for her. Sogi, remember I have a child to care for in the palace and I do not have to stay out long. What do we do? My king, it is not there. And what do you mean it is not there? I went to take it from where I kept it last time. But I cannot find it. Then go and ask the maid! Yes, Someone must have taken it out of the flesh to cut it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before, sir. How can a grown woman be missing? And why was I not told? King ordered, my queen. He ordered it should be kept away from you. You had just put to bed as at that time, my queen. Go back there. Maybe she went out when you went there the first time. Okay, my queen. Go. And I heard that Osara is making allegations against the Nuge for Ifuku's disappearance. Yes, my queen. The king has sorted it out with him, my queen. You can go on your way out. Tell Luluto I want to see the king. Okay, my queen. Where is the uh, two hundred so key? You saw? You don't, don't know where they went to. How? We're here. And where are you two coming from? We want to chase the fowl. We want to slaughter to make pepper soup for the queen. So where's the fowl? We lost it. We lost it. Now all of you listen. I'm looking for a parcel I kept behind the king's quarter. Tied in a leaf. 
Did you say anything like that? No, we didn't. Are you sure? Yes, yes we didn't. Now come get back to your duties. What harm would the urine of a three day old baby do to you that you cannot drink to save your life? I will not drink it. If the chief priest does not have another solution, then let me die. Then die! I will die and leave you on your troubles! You clearly. Seek a visit to the other side of life. I bid you farewell in advance. I know. I know you did this on purpose to get me out of your way. Asemota, you are wasting your time. You had better get a knife to kill me. It will make it quicker. But you are so intoxicated! With bitterness. Diggy. The feeling is mutual. I promise you. I will find her. And when I do, I will kill her and feed her flesh to the vultures. Endeavor to drink the baby's brain. It will help you kill your insanity and bring sunlight to you. I will not drink it. Awa! Awa! Me! Isekbe! Koi na fatakwa! Mwenyo mi omopo! Awa! I will not drink it! Itoa, let us not trouble the poor widow with so much sad news. She would do nothing about. Sugi, then what do we do? We have done everything, remember? My friend, there are different methods to fight a battle. But this battle is a lost one. No. Do not give up, Sugi. We will not allow the royal home to go scot-free with the evil they have done to our friend, Ifweko. Did you see the resemblance? Did you? Oh. He has her eyes. But looks more like the king. <laughs> I thought I was the only one who noticed. I thought I was the only one. Sugi, forget it. We have won our friend Ifweko. It is time we get up and go back to work. Okay? It's fine. It's fine. My queen, the midwife is not yet back. You can go now. All right, my queen. under my nose. For sooner. <sighs> Greetings, my husband. What do you want? I know we are not 
best of friends like other married people. But that is not my making. Neither is it my making. But we are doing fine. My heart is troubled. I want to know what happened. Talk to me. Is it bad? Some things are better left unsaid. You have a child now, as you desired. So be happy. Talk to me. Gume Did you send her away with the midwife? Gume I do not know the whereabouts of the midwife. And if we go? Is it we go back to your quarter? I want to know. I insist. It's the me. Leave me alone. Little <laughs> home. Are you done mourning? I do not have any recent debts to mourn. So I do not know what you're talking about. Of course you do. I'm very sure you would like to explain to the king why you have been sneaking around the royal graveside. Olotu, what do you really want? I do not know who is watching you or who X is gifted in observing strange movement in the palace. So I thought I should warn you. Can I talk to you about something later? About what? Why are you scared in coming out to tell me how you feel about me? Olotu! Olotu! Olotu. My queen. You and the king have been going from one discreet journey to another. I'll give you five bags of coral beads for you to give to your wife on your wedding day if you tell me what the king has been doing under my nose. We have been moving from one discreet journey to another, disposing the evil meal you cooked. I expected you to quietly go back to your chamber and take care of our child. Not coming out here to dig out dead rats. Izegbe, what do you want? I just want to know the truth. I have never told you a lie. Then why did you not invite me when she was having the child? Because the situation did not permit me to do that. Besides, you were not in the palace. So where is she? Where is she and the midwife? Where are they? I do not know where the midwife is. As for Ifeko, I cannot tell where she is. Please. I promise not to haunt her. I just want to know if you sent her far away so she does not come one day and claim my child. Laho Gumegua. Go to your chamber and take care of the child she has given you. I do not ever want to discuss this again. Who gave her a talk by you? Yes, sir. Where can I saw you? May I have audience with His Highness?
Wise one. Ogima okay, Tokbe, long may you reign. You are a rare visitor to the palace. It's all well. All is well, my lord. Very well. Hmm. So what message does the gods bring to us? The newborn baby. The gods have sent me to give the new baby his welcome gift. You mean grazing his wrist with the enchanted bracelets? Exactly, my lord. Exactly. But it is usually done during his naming ceremony. That is correct, Your Highness. But the gods have commanded that it should be done earlier than ordained. Strange. The gods are wise. Olotu. My king. Tell the queen to bring the prince at once. Dolls of the sky, the earth, fire, the sea, and the air. Bear witness today that this is the prince of Azaba. Be at hell upon his request and behests. Bless him with long life. Bless him with peace. Bless him with all that is good. Oh, give her a talk, baby! Yes, out this late at this time of the night what do you want this night it's late my night has been taken over by a terrifying dream i cannot even close my eyes what did you dream of she came to my dream and sat on my laps asking why she did not enjoy royalty as a queen the gods forbid that the king of Azaba be tormented by a ghost. Awa! Wise one, I need your help. Uh, your Highness, I will come by the palace in the morning. You... I just told you I cannot close my eyes. And you're sending me away empty handed. Your Highness, you will be okay. You will be fine. You will be fine, Your Highness. Are you sure? Yes. A, 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 a ghost that is out for destruction will not sit on your laps and you still have the mouth to tell the story. <laughs> it's not done. It's not possible, Your Highness. You go, Your Highness. I will come by the palace in the morning. I will find out what she wants. You go. All right. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Your Thank Highness. Thank you, wise one. Thank you, Your Highness. Lotu. Sleep well, Your Highness. The Navi who needs a boy. 
She did not enjoy royalty as a queen. The gods forbid that the king of Azaba be tormented by a ghost. Awa! Wise one, I need your help. Uh, your Highness, I will come by the palace in the morning. You... I just told you I cannot close my eyes. And you're sending me away empty handed. Your oh, Highness, you will be okay. You will be fine. You will be fine, Your Highness. Are you sure? Yes. A, 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 a ghost that is out for destruction will not sit on your laps and you still have the mouth to tell the story. <laughs> it's not done. It's not possible, Your Highness. You go, Your Highness. I will come by the palace in the morning. I will find out what she wants. You go. All right. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, wise one. Thank you, Your Highness. Lotu. Sleep well, Your Highness. Be na be kuni ni sanubwa. Ebe na pere, ebe na pere. Anya me parati yota eno odio. Ebe na pere. Ito. Why did you do what you did last night? What did I do, Olotu? I waited for you. Waited for me? For what? And why? You always make fun of me. <laughs> I thought you said you don't know what I'm talking about. So why then did you wait? I really like you. And I would like us to be man and wife. Hmm. <sighs> So why were you hiding it? Because you always make fun of me. Sai, I was scared you were you're going to reject me. I do not make fun of you, Olotu. I only make fun of your weakness. Who could have believed that the head warrior of Great Azagbaland would be shy to approach a woman? It's enough. <clears throat> anyway, um, can we say tonight that we can talk about this? Well, are you man enough? Is it me? Is it not too early for this? Can I not have a moment of privacy in this palace again? My lord. I just want to know whose spirit you went to the royal graveyard with the chief priest to our peace. Well, it is none of your business. Asemuta, everything that happens in your life, in this palace, in fact, in Azaba as a whole, is my business. Then, 
come and force it out of me. You killed her, right? You killed her! Leave me alone. I did not kill Ifweko. Then whose spirit did you go to the royal graveyard to appease? Spirit of my mother's! Oh, okay! Oh, okay! Fine. If I got spirit. Samuta. Zibe. Did you kill her? Is that not the Veko's voice? Let me, let me, let me get a help that will take care of the baby. Please, get a sharp object and cut the rope you're saying. Shall be called Osamu God stood by me. Isako! Isako! Young lady died all because of you. Please stop. If you make me wallow in guilt, I may never touch that child again. Do you know how difficult it is for me to breathe with all the guilt in my heart? Do you know? Hey, you did not kill her. So, her blood is not on your head. Besides, you want her to marry her. So her soul will find rest. It was all a game. <laughs> to keep having access to her body whenever I want to have her. What? Yes. She meant nothing to me. would have still kept her as a concubine if she had lived. Yet you buried her at the royal graveyard. She was the mother of my son! She deserved to be honored! And you deserve to be tormented a thousand times more than she has done already. <laughs> so 
Sogi, why are you looking at him like that? If I was not sure he's Ifeko's son, I would have sniffed life out of him. So the queen and the king and the royal home will feel the pain of losing a child just like Ifeko's mother is feeling right now. Suge, we have a better coin to pay them. Besides, I hear a blood of a child stinks and it takes divinity to cleanse the stains off your hands. Why are we so slow in acting? Why are we so slow in taking actions? What if the queen has other plans? What if? What if? Queen Izigbi is enjoying motherhood at the moment. Let's wait till the bonding gets tighter. And then we'll strike. Because that is when she will feel the pain more. <laughs> is that good? So cute. It's fine. <gasps> Olotu, I will accept you on one condition. What condition? How do I live with this? Is it not better to strangle him to death than having to live with a coin of guilt all my life? like that did he agree talk to me did he accept hey get me so go tell it to her that the king said she should go and call the head of women to come dress the baby the cabinet are already gathering in the throne room. I think Itoa is with the queen because she's not at the maid's quarters. All right then. Greetings, my queen. The elders have started coming. The king is waiting for you. I'm ready. I'm only waiting for Ituan to bring my son. And the women leader to be him is already here. Go and call her. My queen, is it Ituan not with you? She is not with me. Go and call her. But my queen, Ituan is not in the palace. Then why did she go? Where did she take my son? Go no, and call her! Okay, my queen. Where did she take my son? Do you know where she took my son?
Found my king. Where? Summon the warriors! Find them! Inside and outside of Zaba Kingdom! I want them dead or alive! No! Yes, my king! Save me from this shame and humiliation. Gods of Azagba land. Lao, come to my rescue. The child is missing and my days are numbered on earth. My mothers, what do I do? What do I do? Eh, 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 eh,